I'm a split screen. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to create split screen layouts in Adobe Premiere Pro. Like a boss. And save them as presets. But before we get started, let's take a moment to go over what I think are the two most important things to consider when creating a split screen layout. First and foremost is to have a purpose for creating your split screen. The clips should probably have something in common like talking on the phone in this mean girl scene or maybe complement or juxtapose each other like the scene from 500 Days of Summer or even just share a similar theme like this collection of shots from Woodstock. The second thing to consider is layout and to me this comes down to four different things. One, let your footage dictate your layout. If you only have two clips that work together, go with that. Two, pay attention to which direction of split would be better, vertical or horizontal. Three, make sure to be purposeful about where you place each of your clips. Not all clips look good next to each other. And finally, number four, splits don't have to be even. So make sure if one of your boxes is bigger than the others that there's a reason for it. Let's go. So the first thing you have to do is just make sure your clips are stacked on top of each other. So in this case, I have on the bottom here this record one and on top I have this cassette one. And then all we're gonna do is click over to the side here and highlight both clips. And then we're gonna go over to our effects. If you don't see effects over here, click on it up here or you can find it in window effects right there. And you're just gonna type in transform. And when you do that, there's gonna be an effect under distort that's called transform and a folder that's called transform. Well, we're gonna use this transform and the crop right here that's in that folder. So we're gonna drag transform on first to both of them. And then we're gonna drag crop right after. Then we're gonna click away and then click on our top clip and that should bring up your effect controls panel right here. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says crop. And in this case, you just have to decide which side you're gonna crop off. So I'm gonna crop the left off of this one. So I'm gonna go in here and just type in 50%. And I'm gonna do the same for the other one. You don't technically have to, but I like to just in case I wanna animate or move things. It makes that a little bit easier later. So this one I'm gonna crop off the right. And you won't see anything because if I click this eyeball, it's underneath. So this uh, tape one is already covering it. Then we're gonna go back to the tape one and we're gonna to go to transform. Now, the one thing you have to make sure is that transform is above crop over here in effect controls. And that's why we dragged transform in first and then crop second so it was on top. Under transform now, all we're gonna do is go to position and this first one, if you click and drag it to the right, it'll move this one and you can see the crop stays the same. If you went up here and just use this position, it'll actually move the whole entire thing, which is a different effect in itself, but in this case, we're just trying to crop it right down the middle and we can position this however we want. And then do the same thing for the bottom one, click on it, go down to transform, and maneuver that clip to wherever you want in your frame, and boom. But uh, once we hear that boom, we... If you wanna do the same thing, but this time split it across the middle this way, then you do the same thing. You drag, transform, and crop on. Go to your main one, and this time, you just crop from the top or the bottom. So I'm gonna go 50% here, and this one, I'm gonna crop 50% off the bottom, and then the same thing, go back to your clip, go to transform, and this one, instead of dragging this one, you're gonna drag this side and that moves it up or down. So I'm just gonna move this one down a bit and go over to this one and just move it up a bit. And just so you know, you can also use scale in transform, but really you can only scale up and don't go too far because then you're gonna start to lose resolution. You notice if we have 1080 footage, in a 1080 sequence and we try and scale down within the crop here, you're just gonna get this black border thing around it. So now this second one. So what if you want the uh, a three split? Well, we do the exact same thing. So we highlight all these, we're gonna drag transform on, drag crop, and then in this case, you're just going in here and your crop is, this one is gonna be my left one. So I'm gonna crop from the right 67%. And then on this middle one, I am going to crop the left 33 and the right 33. And on the bottom one, I'm gonna crop from the left 67 because that's gonna be my right clip over here. And then you do the same thing. So your top clip here, you just go to transform 
and you maneuver it to the spot that you want. If you want a horizontal three-way split, then you just do one of these from the bottom at 67, and then I'm gonna go to this bottom clip down here, one from the top at 67, and then the middle one, just do top and bottom, 33 on the top and 33 on the bottom. And then the last one here is if you have four clips, so same thing, highlight them all, drag on transform, drag on crop, and all we're gonna do this time is down here on crop, we have to do two of them. So this one I'm gonna go 50 from the left and I'm gonna go 50 from the bottom. Okay, so that's gonna be that top corner. This next one I'm gonna go 50 from the left again, and this time I'm gonna go 50 from the top. The third one, we're gonna go 50 now from the right, and 50 from the top, and then this last one, we're gonna go 50 from the right, and 50 from the bottom. Now we should have one in each of these quadrants, but they're all gonna be way too big, unless you want them like that, right? You can crop them in like that instead of uh, shrinking them down, but now when we go to our uh, transform over here, we can maneuver them, so if you look at the cassette one, we can maneuver it into place, and if you wanna keep it that large, you can keep it that large, but we can also go all the way down to 50% here. So we can scale these down to 50 and then still be able to place them into that spot. So if you wanna see the whole clip, like the whole size of the clip, then go to 50 and you'll see the whole thing. Um, but you can go anywhere from 50 to whatever you want here to fill in your, uh, your frames. All right, so that's how you make basic split screen layouts. Now let me show you how to save them as presets so you can use them in the future without having to go through all those steps. And we're gonna use this one that I just made as an example. But if you notice, I made them all 50% and line them up perfectly into these quadrants right here. I put those numbers up on the screen a few seconds ago and you can see them right here. So 1440 and 810, that's for this cassette one right here. And each of them, I've lined them up perfectly for the preset. You want them to be set exactly nice for the preset. So what you do is you click on a clip, so I'll use the stereo one, and you go to the transform one and you click on it, you hold control and click on crop, so they're both highlighted, then you right click and you just go save preset. Now in here, I'm gonna name it for split and this is going to be bottom left because that was the, um, the stereo one right here and just click OK. Now, when you go over to your effects and you go into your presets, you can see that I've named, I've saved already my two split side by side left, my two split side by side right, and I've already named all the other ones here for the four split. Now, what we're gonna do is if you look at this footage, look how easy this is. So this is the cassette one. It doesn't matter now which what, what kind of uh, quadrant we put them in, because this could be a different split screen. So now it's new clips, so this cassette one, all I have to do is drag this on, boom. Beep, beep. And it'll place it into a corner. Sorry, I say boom a lot. And then this one, that one goes up there. The next one you drag on, and then the last one, and there you go. You have your split ready to go as 50% for each of them. And then you just have to do what we were doing before, go back into transform, and you know rescale and move them and place these new clips to where you want them. And then if you notice over here, I also made, I'm gonna collapse this down for a second, I also made a folder called Split Screens, and I already have a folder made in there called Two Split Side by Side, and I've dragged both of those from the presets into there. So if you wanna do that, just make a folder. So right here, you click on it, it's gonna be a new custom bin, and I'm gonna go, this is gonna be my four split, and I'm gonna drag that into my Split Screens one, and then I'm just gonna go up and drag each of those into this folder like this, and you can see that they'll all show up here. So now I have a nice organized place where I can store all of my split screens. All right, so that's how you make basic split screens in Adobe Premiere Pro. Like a boss. But if you wanna learn how to enhance, customize, or animate your split screens, make sure to check out the other videos I have linked in the description below. If you got something out of this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, Please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.